guys, today we're back at home and today we're going to make dinosaur fossil cookies. This is a part of my science activity because we're learning about fossils. The teachers decided to do this because they want us all to be entertained at home. So if you want to follow the recipe, so now if you want, now let's get baking. So here's the ingredients. This is a two this is two cups of flour. This is three fourth cups of sugar. A pinch of salt. One half teaspoon of baking powder. And the wet ingredients are vanilla, one egg, and one cup of butter. So our tools are a plastic spoon, a wire whisk, and a big bowl. Guys, so first we're going to start with one cup of butter. I think it's gonna start out a little messy, but at least we can make this successful. Oop, come on. put in everything. Three-fourth cup of sugar. I'm just gonna do it like this. Okay, so time to mix it until it turns into cream. Now we're going to use the wire whisk to make it turn into cream. Okay, so we have to keep on mixing until it turns into yummy cream. It's quite hard to do this because sometimes the butter gets inside the wire whisk. I think continue. Now we're going to add one egg and one tablespoon of vanilla. Okay, so I need to be careful so it won't. There you go. Drop it in. Now time for the vanilla. It smells so good, but when it, when it's too many, it almost smells like lemon. Ooh. That's all. So now time to mix again. like this now you can finally start with the dry ingredients you need to mix the baking powder and salt together with the flour so let's start with the baking powder and then now the salt so now it's time to mix so you have to mix it a little and carefully so it so it won't go away now make it go. It's not some of the trail, but it's still okay. It's a tiny drip. Now time to add the dry and the wet mixture together. But remember to pour it slowly because it might become a little messy. Okay, so I use this the plastic spoon to put it up gently. See like this. Very slow. But slow. It'll take for ages. So now time to mix the dry and the wet ingredients together. I have to now add the rest of the flour into the bowl. Guys, so it's quite hard for you to mix it. Just use instead of a wooden spoon because it's too hard. And if you think it's too soft, add a little more flour gradually. Guys, if if you mix it and mix it, it's supposed to be look like a dough like this. So if it's still not yet, keep on mixing until you reach this point. Now in this step, you will still need the dough. But before that, we have to sprinkle some flour so it wouldn't stick there. And of course, to wash your hands, it can be 100% edible. So we can knead it and turn it to cookies. So I'm gonna try to. Oh, gee, it feels so soft. I'm gonna get the whole thing out. So we have to 
make it into a circle so it can be nice and perfect. So you mold into a circle, you have to you have to cool it for 30 minutes and of course put it you're gonna put it in the fridge and put it in, put it back into the bowl and cover it with plastic. Guys it's supposed to be like this so now it's time to put it in the fridge. I'm really going to sip the dough, so we're going to need some dinosaur toys to make the fossil, cookie cutters to save out the cookie. Uh, some toothpick to make it look, look like an actual fossil and of course the dough you can use the head or the feet to make the fossil but if one lover toy is small enough to fit it in you can do the whole body to make it look realistic so we're going to put the dough in here and then we're going to start rolling it and then and, and then when it's perfectly Perfectly flat, we're going to start to cut. Guys, now we're already flattened it. Now it's time to cut it. Cut, cut some circles. You can choose a size. I'm choosing this one. A, a small one, but not that small. Okay, putting it on. Then removing it. Then, now let's Remove the circle and then see look what a fun circle. I'm going to make the fossils. For this one, I'm going to use the foot the three times. One, two, and then three. So when you're done, you're going to put it in the baking tray with parts in the picture. And then time to continue all over again. Now, we're going to add the, the fossil, but this time the head. Okay, don't press too hard or the cookie will break. There you go. This is how it looks like. I think a little more will do. There you go. See, look, you can see the eyes here. Then one of its skull and then its pointy teeth. Now we're going to use the big cutter because this one is big, big, big. So let's cut it out. Then now, time to put it. Da -da 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 -da. There. Let's squish it a little bit. I think that's enough. And then now remove. Doesn't look that much of the same, but at least it has have some of the body in there put the places right here and you have to do this for the rest of the dough until you have no more dough left so i will continue and repeat what i've done now when you're done with the cookies you have to bake them in the oven for 10 minutes and then let's see how the outcome guys this is how our cookies look like these are the feet Here are like the heads. It's quite hard to paste them on, so we decided to one cookie to draw them on. And here is the full body. We couldn't make the tail fit in, so we just decided to remove the tail. And here are the dinosaurs. Rawr! See, it's like this the one, the small piece. It's like this one, but this is a full body. Like rawr. I hope you enjoyed this video. So smash the like button, hit the notification bell, and hit 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 the subscribe button so you can get a million subscribers. Bye!